one tribe, a reminder of a place once lived, where real equality and community existed, free from judgment, free from the system of fear and control, a place where connection can lead to possibilities, and a space where creativity has no restrictions, a path through the unknown, not knowing where one's going to end up, but having the faith of knowing things are going to work out, a realization that the ocean is a thread that connects all the lands and all the tribes of people, a feeling of being connected to something greater than one's own singular life, a greater realization that no man is an island, instead a critical piece that makes up this collective consciousness, a part of time where the past, present and future coexist, a place of magic where thoughts become things, a greater understanding that by living in harmony with nature, one gains a healthy mind, body and spirit, a universal space where energy, frequency and vibration merge into one, and a great knowing that together as one, we can make a difference. Welcome to One Tribe. Um, I think two years since that chat and conversation, I still feel the, the same as I think it's that perspective of everything, like how lucky we are, um, that glass half full. And I think in that last two years, I really found the biggest thing has just been simplicity. I think that's, it. that's such a key to our lives. I think we, or, and me personally, like try and complicate things in my mind and, and, and do different things. But I, I think really the transition's been like two years of really looking simplistically at everything and really, I suppose, getting in touch with those things of, of just spending time with family and connecting us in nature and just enjoying that, like this short journey that we have um, on the planet. You know, we're not here for a long time. I think that's helped a lot as well. Some things like just, just shaping moments as well as that, that realization if there's deaths in, in family or friends, it's that, that thing of like, holy, holy moly, like it could be tomorrow. So like, it, it's for me, it's like motivation to just, just like, we are lucky. Like, let's spend this time while we're here and enjoying it the most we can, explore, adventure. And, and I think our, our whole thing is just about experience as well. Yeah, I think all our lives have a high purpose and I, I think we're all connected as well. Um, so what one person does, it does affect another, whether it's um, close knit or whether it's far away. So I do think we all have this higher purpose of, of gradually evolving as, as through humanity. Um, and I believe that, you know, we've got all the souls out there, wherever they are, let's say the universe or the clouds or in the tree, wherever they are kind of thing there. And I think they're all watching us almost like the Truman Show. You know, they're there and they're like, yes, well done, Dave or Stevie, you're well done. You've, you've done that or like, come on, you can get through that moment. And, and I do believe all our paths are, are already paved. We just don't have as much memory of it. And I think as we connect more to to nature, family and ourselves, we start to remember, I think, whether it's intuitively, we remember um, different bits and pieces. And, and I think that also helps shape our, our path to stay on where we're meant to as well. But yeah, I, I do believe that when my body, when I die, my soul will go up to wherever it is. And whether it comes down straight the next moment or it takes a thousand years before it comes back down. And I think it comes down to that connectedness in our, in our journey. I think we're, we're not throwing anything that we can't deal with or, or work through as well. And I do think, I think whatever we go through in our lives, whether it's easy or hard, I do think it has a higher purpose. And whether that's one direction around of just life's purpose on saving forests or replanting forests or um, reducing carbon, whatever is, or helping someone that's in need. I do think our lives and paths are shaped around that. Whether we can see it or we can't see it, absolutely, I do, for sure. I think too, what I'm finding is like, I think the more we can go internally, um, the more it happens externally. Because I think maybe sometimes that kind of like, oh, I just, I'm not feeling 
strong enough to be able to kind of go down that path kind of thing where that internal working like, okay, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good about myself, so okay, now I can help someone else out. So I think it's that going in to allow us to do that as well. I, I'm, I reckon I'm finding or I believe that the, the more we can heal inside, the more we can give outside as well, kind of thing. Um, like the drop in the pond, I think. Yeah, the more we can, we can heal, um, then it ripples out just really kind of slowly from that. So I think it's a big one. Like for, for me, I, I've always been like, wow, I've got to save the planet. We've got to do this, we've got to do that. We've got to travel over here and do that. And then we've got to speak here and do that and stuff. And, and part of me kind of learning, I suppose, reflection or whatnot is more like, actually, I wonder if I spend half an hour a day meditating, pushing love out to the universe or to the planet or humanity or animals, whatever it is, that half an hour of stillness putting out there with these lovely thoughts would have so much more positive effect than say building 50 carbon positive homes um, that are non-toxic. I'm like, wow, like for me, I, I'm, I'm going, wow, I think that internal really kind of allows more healing to happen than actual running around and going, got to do this, got to do that kind of thing. And I think that comes to the stillness with the sunset, you know, like like being able to be still. Um, hard, like I'm definitely, definitely got a long journey to go to do it. But there's these things that are telling me like, dude, just just go in, like go in and just just chill. You don't have to be running around and doing this, 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 this. And, and maybe that's it, the more we can heal Internally, the more we can give love externally to people on the planet and, and community, I, I think as well. I think my truth is to, to understand myself, to really connect and listen to my, myself, my intuition, my, my stomach, my feelings, and to be true to them and properly love myself. I think that's the truth. And then the more I think I go internal and, and really bring that kind of truth and self-love through. I feel like I can um, shape that more into my external world, say throughout my family, throughout my home, and then throughout community and the world at large. And I think walking my truth, it's like a great question and a hard question. Um, I think walking my truth is, I, don't know, I think coming from my divine kind of place and self all the time and, and knowing when when to really pull back into that divine place. And I think walking my truth is just being in nature with family. I think that is just the, the thing that really kind of calls to me. And I think my intuition really kind of calls that forward as well. I um, actually met Deb. I've known Deb around kind of the Basque Coast for, for quite a while. And, um, but we really kind of connected. Um, we traveled together over to South America and we spent uh, two weeks on a camp and uh, working with a shaman and spending time in the Amazon jungle. And there was just a, a, just a beautiful connection between us and then, and then we never really had talked until we went on that trip and then just the seven degrees of separation of knowing all different people that know each other and, and so on. And we just kind of hung out. There was maybe 10 of us and we hung out and really got to know each other's stories. And yeah, it was just beautiful. I realized how beautiful a person she is and and just what she's done in her life, like it hats off. Like if we talk about experience, I'm like, Deb Riley, like she lived, lived it all and lived it full. Yeah, she's definitely someone that I look up to and, and absolutely respect. Just an, another thing that really inspired me that came to, it, to my mind then is spending time with Deb and her just talking about her boys, like absolutely just adored her boys, loved them and was just so interested to be in their life and hang out with them. And I took a huge part of that. And I saw her and I so admired her for it and really took a piece of that to really kind of put into our children and, and have that same kind of time and same commitment and, and fun as well. I just think like, yeah, she just adored her boys. It was, it was so good. Oh, wow. It's, um, it's in, inspired me when uh, I might be sick, but when people say, how are you? I, I'll answer, I'm good, thanks. And that's, that, that 
mightn't mean that I'm good as in uh, my health. It's in my spirit, you know. I always feel good in my, my spirit. And that's what I answer. And the, per the person who asked me the question, they, um, they feel good. And I believe in reflective uh, feelings and people, people may smile after I say I'm good. They don't need to know how I really am. And the, co the community are inspired by that answer. Like, oh, Deb's good, she's fighting back. Yeah. We've got as much power as we decide that we've got. We can be weak and we can be the most powerful beings that we want to be. This right now, off the cuff, mate, it's, 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 you're telling me, you're asking me questions, I don't even know what I'm, you know, I can't think about work right now or the, I've got to be back in the gym or I can't think about next week because I don't know what you're bringing to me. So this is real, you know, and see the smile on your face right now. So that's, that's consciousness, that's right now. You know, this is, this is consciousness. And you know, as I was saying to you before we actually started is the, you know, that's, that's the beauty about surfing and they say rock climbing as well is, is that's conscious. That's when you're in the moment. You can't be out of the moment because it's real time. It's, you know, it's, you're there. You can't think about, as I was just saying, you can't think too far ahead or you can't think too far behind. You can't because it's real time. It's, it's, it's happening there. You know, it's, it's like watching Gary Ablett play footy. It's like watching all these elite sports people. They slow down time, but they are just aware. It's, you know, it's the flow effect. Saying I always say is, me mind's cash and checks, the body can't deliver. Hence why I'm injured a lot. That's why my zone's a really good thing because it's a it's a live tool to go. Well, you think you're, you know, tired, but that's where your body's at. That's where your heart, your main organ, you know, the, the thing that's keeping you alive. So you're not really. So we've spoken about the my zone on a different uh, thing about the effort rewarded and all that. But it's anything, mate. As you know, yourself with um, with surfing, you want to get to that next level. You've got to push to that next level. No question about it. No matter what it is, you know the old. Um, Muhammad Ali saying, oh, how many sit-ups do you do? He goes, I don't start counting until I can't, you know, until it burns, you know, and, and that's when the count starts. And, you know, Arnie Swartz, you know, all these famous, you know, people will say that the count doesn't start until it hurts. Once it hurts, then we start counting, you know, for reps, for, for rounds in the bags, for whatever. The, you know, that's when you're going in that uncomfortable, you know, the old, you know, get comfortable being uncomfortable. Practice of mindfulness. Oh, it's pretty much everything, I think. I think, uh, you know, what goes on between your ears is life, <laughs> really, at the end of the day. You know, the old saying is, you know, that's our conscious and our subconscious is our body. And what is it? The first seven years, our subconscious is created from our environment, our parents, and, you know, the rest is kind of a played out, you know, whatever you call it, DVD as such. So um, mindfulness is, you know, making sure that, you know, you are present in the moment and it's bloody hard, you know, you can practice as much as you want because we all get caught up in the past and all get caught up in things that happen that haven't happened in the future. So I think it's uh, super important to practice it as you train, as you brush your teeth. It's, you know, super important to keep a positive mindset as much as the world can be negative. I think it can be negative, but yeah, it's very important.